You know, it's been almost two months since the first body scanners went into some Charlotte Mecklenburg schools. The goal for those to detect weapons after CMS saw a record number of weapons on campuses this school year. Now, those scanners started in some high schools before rolling out to all of them. WCNC Charlotte, Shamaria Morrison joining us live now to tell us how these body scanners are working out. Shamaria, have they found any weapons? Yes, so far CMS told me they have found one gun at a high school, but you have to remember that those body scanners aren't just there to detect when the guns come in. They are also used as a deterrent. CMS spent just under $5 million for 21 body scanners in some high schools. They've told us it's quote going well. Some students, including the CMS school board's student advisor, say they're dealing with long lines they're not used to. Get checked up like every other day just because I have four, uh, three, three rings uh, uh, binders. And it's, it's funny because I already know that it's just them. Juan Torres Munoz says the pilot program has evolved his thinking. Uh, at the beginning, I didn't support him f uh, fully. But I think that the body scanners are a much better solution. The founder of Team True Blue, an anti-violence youth advocacy program, says he's not convinced the scanners are enough. Body scanners um, are there to do one purpose and one purpose only, and that's to prevent weapons from getting into the school. It still doesn't stop the violence in the school. He's talking about measures to prevent fights and bullying. In a statement, CMS responded to questions about long lines by saying, quote, the report of long lines are just growing pains and all our schools are reporting that the new system is going well and not interfering with daily instruction. As long as students know that they're not getting, carrying anything, they're not going to feel like uh, something bad is happening. There has been no announcement yet on when the other body scanners will be installed. And you know, those body scanners were not the only thing that were supposed to go into CMS schools to hinder that violence. You may remember those clear backpacks that did not go out. It cost the school district almost half a million dollars. I have been trying to get an answer from CMS for almost a week now on what the next steps are going to be for that. And I have been told just a few minutes ago that they do not have an update to give me as of now. Live at CMS headquarters, Shamaria Morrison, WCNC Charlotte.